Hi everyone, this is Annie from Polar Explorers. I'm here at my house uh, with my family. We're all surviving the coronavirus pandemic so far. And um, you know, one of the good things about being at home is that I'm close to my polar library, which I love so much. And um, it's been sort of fun to peruse through the books on my shelf and read about polar explorers who were stuck in their ships for long periods of time against their will, because um, there's some things there that I can learn about being stuck in my own home. I thought it would be fun to uh, share some of my favorite books um, about the polar regions. And today I wanted to start with a book that's in my, probably my number one spot, maybe two or three. It's hard sometimes to choose the best. Um, and that is the Arctic Rail. And the Arctic Rail is just what it says it is. It is an incredible book, an incredible resource, and an awesome primer about Arctic history from 1818, which is when they started getting interested in the Northwest Passage, all the way through the search for John Franklin's ships and the exploration of the Northern Arctic and all the way up through um, the quest to reach the North Pole. It is so much fun to read. It's by Pierre Burton. He is a Canadian author and he's written a ton of great books, but this by far is my favorite. Um, he is so, he writes in such a readable way and the stories just fly by and um, you can't put the book down. Once you start, I dare you to put it down within the first hour that you pick it up and start reading it. Um, even after you've read it a bunch of times, it's still hard to put down. Some of my favorite stories from the Arctic are in here, uh, including stories about John Ray, this guy here, who was a major player in the search for John Franklin and did a lot of uh, fascinating stuff and, and it's just incredible to read about him. I actually named one of my daughters after him. And the stories about Elijah Kent Kane, his crazy expedition, really, it was crazy. Um, I kind of keep his expedition in mind sometimes if I think that my expeditions are going wonky with bad logistics. I don't feel so bad after thinking about his. And this guy, Charles Hall, boy, now if you thought Elijah Kent Kane's expeditions were a little wacky, his really took it to a new level. And what else in here? Um, then we go up for the quest to the North Pole with the early explorers um, trying to get there by balloon. If you've been to Long Yearbin, you've probably seen this picture a lot. It's all over Long Yearbin um, because this expedition, uh, Andre's expedition took, uh, departed from Spitsbergen. Um, and so many other stories in here. I can't recommend this enough. So if you're going crazy at home, order this online, get it delivered, get yourself a big cup of tea or coffee or cocoa, sit in your favorite chair, and open it up and it will take you on some phenomenal adventures. So good luck to everybody with their home stays. <laughs> and um, and uh, maybe I will share another favorite book tomorrow. Thanks and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.